Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a tutu for the bunny and how to make a little bow as well. So you just need some cotton yarn in any colour, uh, scissors, yarn needle, I'm using a 2.5mm hook for the bow and a 3.5mm hook for the tutu. Right, and I'll leave the link for the bunny part 1 and 2 in the description. To start, I'm going to make the bow, so make a slip knot. And your 2.5 millimeter hook and chain seven. Okay. Then you want to skip the last chain that you made and single crochet into the second one. All right, and single crochet one in each of the stitches down the chain. So skip the first one and then one single crochet in each chain. So you should end up with six at the end of this row. Okay, Right, once you've done that, chain one and turn, and then you just want to put one single crochet in each stitch. So again, you should finish with six single crochets. Okay, chain one, turn your work, and one single crochet in each stitch. Okay, so once you've done that, Cut your yarn, make it long enough, chain one and pull it through, Right, and I'm just going to thread this tail into the center. And I'm going to hide this tail. Alright, so I just weaved it through the bottom and then back again. Okay, and you just want to pinch it together. And twist your tail around there okay okay so I just made a little knot at the back and make sure you stitch it on really well because you don't want this coming off it'll be a choking hazard 
So just stitch it on either side. Okay, and just weave it through the back of the bow and then back through the head or on the ear, just in there. Okay. All right, so that's how it looks. Uh, the next thing to do is to make the tutu. So take your 3.5 millimeter hook, make a slip knot, and then chain 35. Once you've chained 35, you need to attach it. Okay. So just go into the first chain that you made. And make a slip stitch. Make sure it's not twisted and then we want to chain one go back into that same first chain that you slip stitched into and single crochet one okay so the chain one doesn't count as a stitch and we just want to put one single crochet in each of the chains back to the start So at the end you should have 35 single crochets around. Okay, so once you're single crocheted around, you want to slip stitch to the first single crochet you made. All right. And then chain two to start the next row. So we want to go back into the stitch that we slip stitched into and we want to make two double crochets okay so this chain two doesn't count as a stitch so one two okay so we want to go along and put two double crochets in each stitch okay so just two double crochets in each stitch along until you get back to here Okay, so this is how it looks at the end of the row. And then I just want to slip stitch to the first double crochet that we made. Okay. So if this 
doesn't fit if it's too tight or too loose you can just change crochet hooks or um, you can chain less at the start and the pattern will still work the same okay for the next row we're going to chain two which doesn't count as a stitch and then we're going to do the exact same as this row we're going to put two double crochets in each stitch around so we start with the stitch that we slip stitched into and make two double crochets and then just two double crochets in each stitch around until we get back to the end Okay, so I'll do that and I'll come back and show you how it looks. Okay, so that's how it looks at the end of that row. So you can either stop here. Okay. But I'm going to do one more row. So I'm going to slip stitch to the top of my first double crochet. But I'm going to change color as well. So I'll put my hook in. And then I'm going to pull through the new color and make a slip stitch. Okay. And knot the two ends together. And I'll just cut the pink yarn so it's not in the way. Okay, so I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to put two half double crochets into the same stitch that we slip stitched into. Okay, and I'm going to put two half double crochets in each stitch around. Okay, and I'm hiding that um, white tail as I do my half double crochets. So at the end of that row, you just want to slip stitch to the first half double crochet that you made. And you can chain one and cut the yarn. Okay, so the only thing left to do is hide all the tails. And you can stitch it onto your bunny, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it off so then we can change... Okay, if you'd like me to make anything else, let me know. If you want to see a dress. Okay. That's how it looks. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.